Hi right, Lucas. Right, um, this is only way I can think of showing you how to do this. Um, I can't do it for here because it keeps putting all my details in, as you'll see in a wee minute. Edit QSL templates. Just let me get a reset to build up. Going to go to browse. Right. So you should see that screen there. So we're going to browse. I've just saved it onto the desktop. So open that up into the desktop. Right, so just load up your original picture that you sent me. See that roughly. Then click upload. Now, this is where. Right. So we take number 10, which is a call sign, we put it up here, and we need to double click on the 10. Double click. You can set the font size to about thirty five and save it. And on, see what will happen is my details will come up here just now, but when you do it, your details will come up. There's a preview, and there's look, my details. But when you do it, it'll be your details. I'm just click that again. Right. Eleven. I'm gonna drag and drop it. Use the template down the bottom. Uh, number eleven. So use the template down the bottom so you know roughly where to put your numbers. So we'll double click on that. And we'll put in font size. Yeah. We'll put in font size eighteen. 
and then we go to we've got to save every file that you open. So right now, it, uh, don't know if I actually saved this one. Right, I did save it, but we've got to save everyone. If you don't save it, that's how you end up with a blank screen. So then we've got the. We'll put that in there. The. Ones. And year. Yeah. So I've dragged and dropped them there, but if you scroll down the page. You'll see with this template where you have to put them all. So that's the end of the day. So all you need, you don't need to do nothing here. Apart from set your font size, and see that. We'll click. Set your font size. Uh, how to do this one hard? Save it. Bond size. You can set your font size to whatever you like. Um, if you don't like the size of it, you can go back in it. But as long as you hit save at the end. Right, and then click on preview. Let's see what we've got. It's hard to see, but as you'll notice, it comes up with all my details. So you just do that the same with all the rest of them. Just click on that. And that puts it down again. Um, and just do the same with all the rest of them. I didn't use them all. I used um, day, month, year, frequency, well, megahertz, uh, mode, QSO call sign, and QSO name. But um, you can choose whatever ones you want. And at the end of that, just go down to save. And it's coming up, QSO saved. Say OK. Now it's down there. So I'll put mine up. That's mine there. So you can go to preview. OK. Go to preview. And you can preview mine. That's yours there. And then just click preview again and that's your saved your saved QSL card and then once it's saved that's it when it will automatically be set up so when you click send QSL card it will send this picture in theory I uh, hope this makes sense um, that's all for now